Hello, my name is Candice. I'm a teaching artist with Behind the Book. Today I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration with you of the water tank project. Let me show you my work area. So we're going to start with a piece of watercolor paper, some crayons, some watercolors, a little towel to dry your brushes on, and a cup of water with some paint brushes. I like to have various sizes available depending on what I want to use. Today I'm just going to be using the wide brush. So let's start with creating a water tank. In New York City our water tanks are kind of a cylinder shape. So I'm going to start with just a curved line on the top and the bottom and then I'm going to connect the two. You can think about what water tanks look like where you live. Here they have kind of a triangle top and they're standing on top of the buildings with some bars. There's usually some kind of a X bar shape to help keep them strong. And you want to make sure that your water tank is really big. It's filling your page. The next thing we're going to think about is why is water important to you and how can you save water in your life? One tip I know is that you use less water when you take a shower as opposed to when you take a bath. So I'm going to draw a little shower head and your drawings can be as detailed as you like or as simple as you like. I'm trying to work really fast today, so I'm just going to be pretty simple. Um, this is a kind of activist art because we are trying to spread a message by using art as a way of communicating with other people. And right now I'm using a white crayon and you might wonder why I'm doing that, but it will all be revealed in just a moment. Okay, so since we're talking about activist art, I want to share a message on here. So I'm just going to write save H2O on here. I know you can't see it yet, but hopefully, you will eventually. All right, so save H2O for save water. Okay, so like I was telling you, I'm using crayons. Crayons are made out of wax. Next up, I'm going to create a watercolor wash. A wash is when you paint a large area with very watery paint. So we're also using a technique called wax resist. Remember crayons are made out of wax. So what happens? The crayons push the water away and you can reveal maybe a hidden drawing or a hidden message, but it works in any color. So whatever color you're using, you don't have to worry about it. The crayons will push the watercolor away. And I like to fill my whole page. Remember for yours, you might want to have a different color background than you have for the water tank or different colors for the details of your drawing, however you like it. But I'm doing just one big wash. Okay, so here's my painting revealed. A water tank with a message, save water. And it even shows you one way that you can do it by taking a shower instead of a bath. All right, well, have fun creating your water tanks. I can't wait to see them. Thank you. Bye.